everyone, I'm Teresa Strasser and you're on the list. Giving props to an Oklahoman for his ties to the most popular premiere on Sunday night television. Aaron Christie has the top three stories trending around Tulsa. At number one, Game of Thrones. Things are a bit tense right now. You're all talking about the premiere, but did you know one of the writers is from Oklahoma? The story takes twists and turns that are impossible to, to foresee. Here's the lowdown. Brian Cogman has written five episodes. He started as an assistant. Cogman was born in Oklahoma City and still has family in Tulsa. At number two, the cult of the Coney Islander. This blog is spreading like processed grated cheese on a Coney. My cheese are falling everywhere. <laughs> Colin Hines wrote for his love of the Coney Islander, a Tulsa staple that Colin says you either get or you don't. In high school, we'd always make a beeline for a Coney Islander and uh, we get like four or five each. And we devote one to just completely stuffing the whole thing in our mouth. The bun is amazing. <laughs> There's something to that steamed bun. I'm amazed that you can eat it with your hands. I learned quickly, there are rules. Don't order one, you'll look dumb. Okay, I'll go two. Sunshine and happiness, cradle and styrofoam. Ching Cheers. Ching. Order with everything, mustard, cheese, onions, and chili. Then post a picture to be the envy of all your friends. At number three, croquet anyone? Weather on tap for this week is looking good. Here's something you may not have considered. The Tulsa Croquet Club gets decked out in their dress whites at La Fortune Park. We have the best uh, place in this part of the country, so very fortunate that way. I think too many people think that, oh, it's just for old people and like, why do people play this sport? This is a lot more interesting sport than people think. Join a game if you can keep up on Tuesday nights when the weather is nice. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tulsa. I'm Erin Christie.